This is the Realme A17 and today we are going to demonstrate how you can set up the parental control feature on this device. So first step is to launch settings. After that enter the Google category that will be the, at the very bottom of the settings page. Over here if you have any uh, accounts currently associated with the smartphone get rid of them, unlink all the accounts which you can do by tapping over here. Then go in for the manage accounts on this device option. Choose the account that you have to remove. Tap at the three vertical dots and choose the remove account option. You can confirm it. Once you get back to the Google category of page or actually reopen it, we'll see that there are no accounts uh, currently associated with the system. So from here, tap on the parental controls feature over here. Tap on the get started button, then choose child or teenager option. Next. Now we will wait for a little bit. In here, tap on the add or create account for a child. If you do not have the account, just well, uh, sign up for it. If you have uh, prepared or account that you would like to use as the child's account, just log into it. It's also worth mentioning that obviously the child does not have to know, uh, have to not know the password to the account since they will be able to bypass the feature then. So enter the email address. Uh, if you have account, if not, just go for the create account option. So I'll just enter the email of, for the child's account. I'll remind you one more time. After that, enter the password as well, which I will do off the screen real quick. Alrighty. Now we'll wait for the next step to load. Here, click on accept. Then choose the account that we have just signed into from the list. After that, you will need to enter the credentials for parents account or the for the account that you are going to use uh, for supervising the child's activity. So I will do that quickly off the screen as well. Alrighty. In here you can learn more about supervision uh, with some instructions and general info on it. Then scroll the page all the way down. Uh, you will not have as many devices, so do not worry. You will not have any, actually, if that's your first time setting up the parental controls for uh, accounts you have uh, <coughs> logged into. Then in order to confirm the account's uh, link in procedure, enter the child's password or the password to the child's Google account. So I will one more time do that off the screen. Then you'll get this little dialog window uh, which you want to choose allow options, allow option on, then wait until those accounts will be linked. After that, click on the next button. In here you can, uh, well, prematurely manage some apps. You'll be able to do that later on. So if you would like to uh, finish the setup procedure quicker, just skip this step and uh, tap on the next button. The same goes for the filters and content restrictions. You can either configure them now or you'll be also able to do that later on. In here, uh, so two ways to proceed. If the smartphone that is written in the bold, bold font over here is uh, the one that you will use as your parent's device or supervising device, you can just tap on the install family link uh, button and uh, the needed app will get automatically downloaded on it. If it is not, you can just skip uh, and uh, download the family link app from Google Play manually, which well is not hard as well. In my case, it is true that the supervising account, uh, supervising devices written over here. So I'll just tap on the install family link button as you will be able to see right here on my uh, parent phone, the needed app gets downloaded automatically. Now, uh, 
pretty much all the setup and installation procedures on the child's end have been successfully uh, finalized and finished. As you can see, the parental controls are off. Now we need to take the parents' smartphone, this Nokia in my case, open the family link application, wait until it gets well, boot, booted into or loaded. Choose the parent's account that you have, uh, well, pointed out earlier while setting up the feature on the child's end. And in here, uh, as you can see, we have our, where is it real? Let me look it up for some reason, it's not getting displayed, which is, huh, whatever I guess. Should be this one, eh? probably this one, yeah. Yeah, definitely, that's just this uh, phone and just is not getting displayed correctly, but whatever, I guess. So, Oppo A17. Mm. So, at the app, you are able to set up daily limits, mm. downtime, monitor and configure the limits for app usage, as well as like check the app activity of the child, uh, apply some content restrictions, Config configure account settings and manage devices. Alrighty, so that would be it as far as setting up the parental controls on OPPO A17 goes. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your attention and bye bye.